Hey everybody, it's Michael. Welcome back to Let's Try Ogre. So, been playing this a little bit and I got some good comments on the last, well, on one of the videos. Uh, one from Granite Penguin, an old time player of the Ogre pen and paper version. And uh, he suggested that uh, the train effects information is displayed in the interface. And I just looked at a video from Arc Digital. And apparently that is true. Now, I'm not sure how much of it was uh, was displayed previously. And, of course, I didn't bother reading this uh, mission thing. We'll see. Uh, hang on. We'll get back to that in a second. A severely damaged rogue Mark III has become stuck in a swamp while returning from a raid. We're sending a strike force to secure it and download the AI core to unlock the secrets within. Our intel suggests a recovery team has been dispatched by Nightfall and a Mark IV. Four has been diverted from its own mission to stand guard until the recovery team can get there. Should we successfully cover the AI core and may finally discover the location of the secret repair and resupply base we've been searching for in order to download the AI core, at least one infantry squad was remain in an adjacent tile to the objective for three turns. Okay, so we've got to recover the AI core with an infantry squad, which means we need to keep all of those guys alive and we're going to need to fight off a Mark IV, which actually scares me a fair bit. So, the video that I was talking about from, uh, from Arak uh, actually goes through some of the new UI elements that they've added that will hopefully help improve things and probably are some of the things that I've been talking about. Like, for instance, I was trying to pin that little menu that appeared over there. It had a push pin on it. But now I think it's going to have an indicator that shows that if you press T, it will lock it. And then if you roll over it, you can actually roll over the terrain, the units, the roads, and everything, and get some more information about them. So I'm very excited about checking that out. Uh, it tells us now we're going to deploy. Let's check and see what we've got here. We've got 20 points of armor. Um, we don't... Okay, our zone is just this row down here. So let's see what we can do. I did like these mobile howitzers, and if we start and end on a road, we get a bonus to movement sometimes, yep, and you can see that now in the status effect, which may or may not have been there before, I don't really recall, but I did like these mobile howitzers. They have a range of six, but why is it showing an attack of zero? Now, unfortunately, we can't pin this, so I can't roll over here to see what's going on with that. Anyway, I'll figure all this out eventually. Okay, let's see. The Super Heavies have, um, it looks like they've got some more stats in here. I don't remember that 3 slash 3 on movement before. Yeah, I don't remember the split move, but maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, well... Now, uh, color me completely confused. This has some armor piercing ability, which again, I don't remember seeing before. It was perhaps there, but um, yeah, and see, now we roll over, we don't see what's in the stack. Okay. Uh, more UI improvements would be welcome on that front. I'm going to just uh, take a few missile tanks. I'm going for things that have range so we can stand them off. But maybe a couple of these heavy tanks. Boy, these super heavies have five armor. Yeah, we're just, I'm just going to go for it. All right, uh, marine battle suits. Let's see. I definitely want some more of these guys. I'm just going to plop a bunch down. Different size units. Let's just take some regular old rando infantry and throw them in there too. I don't even care. I just want to get some guys on the field. All right, let's go with that. And that's everybody. And we're going to go with uh, continue here. Let's see. One of nine falls ogres. It becomes stuck in the swamp. Blah, blah, blah. We already know about all of that. So here comes the Mark IV. Now let's try this out. Fire phase. Okay, it's our movement phase. So if I roll over this now, if you look over there on the right, you can see that little pin has a T next to it. So if we press T, it's now pinned, and we can roll over it. Terrain effects table. Good Christ, was this there all along? Okay. So we have all the information about our uh, about our stuff. It costs wheeled units more to move in. Light tracked units, ground effect units, infantry, only one. 
No unit may enter a crater. Ridge hex side cannot cross. Infantry doesn't matter. No effect on movement for super heavies and ogres. Wheeled units cannot cross. Okay, uh, committing all this to memory will be a big chore. So don't count on me actually knowing the terrain effects at the moment. But but so we've still got this pinned here, and now we can roll over the ogre. And we can see all of his stats on all of his items. We can see that he has four sets of treads, 14 units each. We can see that he has eight anti-personnel. And we can see that he has a rack of three missiles with a range of five. Oh, and they've actually spelled that out. Range, attack, etc. And I believe, can we see... No. Okay. If he had a status effect or something, it would appear down here. What does this guy show? Let's, uh, that is pinned. Alright, I guess we can't get any information about that guy. He's just a uh, feature. Okay, fine. So, we've done all that. Let's, uh, let's do some movement. So if we stay on the road, we're going to get to get a movement bonus, which isn't much, unfortunately. And I think, to get this movement bonus on the road, I may go ahead and just move everybody over to the road in their turn there, and then we'll start in the next turn there. Okay. So let's, let's, for instance, pin this and see. Units ignore all terrain penalties while on road. Some units get plus one movement when they start and to move on the road. Here's our mobile howitzer. It's already moved its range. So now we have this information down below. is new, I believe. And then if we click that, we go to the terrain effects chart. Okay. Cool. Much excite. Now I won't be operating completely in the dark. Although I probably need to like print out a copy of that uh, terrain effects chart. Don't have it committed to memory. I presume it's the same as in the actual game. In which case, I should pull out my box set and get the rules. Okay, we're done with that move there. But see, I, yeah, I don't know whether that plus one bonus would outweigh me actually going up there. I don't really feel like it would. Like I could probably, let's put one guy, let's put a couple of these guys up here and see if they don't end up further along. Maybe they wouldn't. If these guys do get a plus one bonus from moving on the road, maybe this guy wouldn't actually have any bonus, any benefit. I don't know if I'm being clear at all. And I'm just gonna move all of these guys over here. I do wish there was a way to move like a light stack of units exactly the same way. That would be handy. We'll just make movement take less work. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move these guys up here. Worry about getting them on the road the next turn. Now apparently uh, one thing we should look at this terrain effects chart is is towns because apparently infantry get a bonus in towns. There's another tip from Granite Penguin. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's peg this and uh, oops. go over here and look at this. So a town Defense strength is doubled for ground effect units. Defense strength doubled. Defense units, defense zero units become defense one, but light track takes two points to enter. Not along a road though, I think. Infantry takes one point to enter, but the defense strength is tripled. Heavy track units take two points to enter. Their defense strength is doubled, and ogre treads only hit on a six. Okay. So you don't want an ogre sitting in a in a city if you're fighting it. And wheeled units take two points to enter. Defense zero units become defense one. Very handy. Now infantry is also doubled in forest and doubled in a swamp. All right. Any unit enter. So ground effect vehicles and light track units in their phase upon entering. There is no second movement phase for GEVs. It is immediately disabled on a roll of one or a two. Two movement points to enter. Any units entering ends its movement for the turn and is stuck permanently on a roll or two. Okay. That uh, does make sense. All right, we'll avoid swamps with our guys, but how will we know what are swamps? Is this a swamp? Yeah, even the simple, like, 
Just tell me what it is when I roll over it, but it doesn't. Yeah, it is. Like, I would like that to just have a little highlight that says swamp. That would be cool. But, in any case, move on. See what Nightfall does with its Mark IV over here. Oh, it's our attack phase. Well, there's nothing to attack, so. At least I don't think. Mark IV is fast as all hell, but if you can take out its missile racks, it'll be a lot less of a threat. I'm not going to be able to take out its missile racks before it can get in range with them, I think. Let's, let's double... Okay. Let's double check that. Its missile racks have a range of five. I have a thing with a range of five, but only one, if I recall. These super heavies have a range of three. These howitzers, no, the missile tanks have a range of four. Howitzers have a range of six, so our howitzers just barely beat them. All right, well, we can try it. What is your move? Your move is four. One, two, three, four. So he's going to get to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I would need to get a howitzer up to like here or here. I'm not exactly sure. All right. Well, let's just move as much as we can. So, do the Super Heavies get a bonus on the road? They do. Okay, good to know. So, move those guys up. And... Here we have our mobile howitzer, and he is... I mean, we're gonna have to engage before these howitzers can even get into play. So... And I didn't check whether that got a move bonus on the road or not. Yeah. Missile tanks do. Looks like the howitzer doesn't. Although it may just not be showing it to us because he's already moved this turn. Not sure. Okay, what about you guys? Marine battle suits. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get them on the road now. It doesn't look like there's any kind of movement benefits and not being there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to stack them all here, but we'll try. Yeah, okay. It's probably the limit of our stack. Can we really move in there? Okay. You can get in there. Yeah, we can't actually get it into that square. X, I didn't think so. Alright. Super heavy, smooth up with that guy. And you move up with that guy. You move up with that guy. And now we've got a bunch of infantry down here, I believe. Okay, go stack with the super heavy. Now, I know about uh, spillover fire. That was another thing Granite Penguin mentioned, is that, you know, if a unit gets fired at, there may be spillover fire. And that is indeed true. Um, but sometimes it's convenient to stack them. So we just have to achieve a balance between that. And click on that guy for some reason. Alright, that's the end of the move phase. There's nothing to fire at, I don't believe. Yeah, I think if there was anything to fire at, it would be highlighting. We can fire at these roads, which I don't see the point in. End phase. He's going to get into position there. And he can't reach. Okay, that's good. Two, three, four, five, six, maybe, if we can get Howitzer here. Can you go? Let's find our Howitzer. He's not going to be able to get there. These guys can move three. They're getting a plus one movement bonus on the road. Is that bonus shown in the three? One, two, three, four. It is not shown in the three. He has a range of three. One, two, three. I don't think that would be in range. So let's move them to... Hmm. Sorry. I'm looking to see if we have a turn limit. It doesn't seem that we have a turn limit this turn. I mean, this uh, this game. So we can take as much time as we want. Do we just move them a little bit and then bring the howitzers up to try to take out his batteries before he does anything else? 
I guess. Let's play the long game here um, for it, I guess. I'm just going to move them up a little bit. I'm going to reserve this spot for my howitzers. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Nope, don't want you to do that. Sorry guys, I'm being derpy on this. I, it's uh, it's going to take me a while to figure, figure it all out. Okay, we got missile tanks. Stack right behind, I guess. And you are in fact getting your bonus on the movement, and we were getting our defensive bonus in the city there. Alright. I'm guessing that's what that defensive bonus is from. Okay, a mobile howitzer, and yeah, it's gonna take him a while to get up there. And then marines. I'm gonna try to keep my marines fairly safe, at least some of them, because we really do need to be able to download the AI core with one of them. But for now, I'm just gonna move them as far up as I can. Did there, I thought I was clicked on the wrong thing, but I guess it wasn't. Okay, let's put the super heavies. No, you know what? Come up there. Stack them as much as we can. I need to cut out these movement phases from the videos. They take like a year. We're not even into engagement range yet. Alright, am I going to be able to stack this next guy? I don't think so. I think we're at our limit there. Maybe not. Is there no stacking limit for infantry? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like we have seven units there. Yeah, we do. Interesting. Okay. Guess I'm done. Nothing can reach. So, end phase. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to move into range and take a shot, right? Is. Well, that's fine. I think he just put himself in the range of my mobile howitzer. Alright, are you? It is my movement phase. Let's just stop over here. Yeah. Stop over here and see what's up with these guys. He's disabled by attack. Okay, so two of those, two of those guys are disabled by attacks. And your range is three. One, two, three. Well, I might as well get in range of this guy, right? If he's already going to be in the uh, danger zone. Missile tanks have a range of four. One, two, three, four. So I'm just going to bring him up to here. Okay, that stack is full. Well, what the heck. We're probably not going to be moving him much anymore, so let's just get him off the road. Put him in range. Two, three, four, yeah. Alright, let's see what we got here. We have our another super heavy here. Range of three. So I'm going to put him in that stack there. And you're done. Now, the Marines, I don't care about the Marines. Where is my howitzer? Here he is. Two, three, four, five, six. He ought to be in range right there. And have I got another one in here? No? Okay. You can get all the way up there? Well, go for it. And we'll get some shots in on this guy. Try to take out his main battery. I guess we'll start bringing up infantry as much as we can. Wait. No. Did that. <laughs> Miss clicking over here. Okay, fellas. Be brave. 
All right, how far can you guys get? They've got an extra defensive bonus in there, but uh, what is his? Let's see what his. What's his range on his anti-personnel weaponry? Range is only a one, so he can only hit them if he's right next to him. There's no reason to get them into that defensive cover unless he's going to move forward and attack. But they can be. They can get the spillover. So I think I'm just going to put them here in the woods, camp out for a little bit. You guys enjoy your bivouac. And then they should still be in range of, like, even, maybe even that guy. They can probably pop right over there. Okay. That's going to be it. Fire phase. We will shoot for the Mark IV. And do we want to go for the main battery or these missiles? So the main battery has a range of what? Can I... Can I see? It has a range of three. And these have a range of five. But they're one-time use. I'm gonna go for the... I'm gonna go for the main battery. And I'll just put all of these super heavies on it. On a kit? Or two or better. You know, given my luck, I'm gonna go for that. It's an automatic destroy on his main battery. We'll take that. Alright, he's got that done. So let's take him again. We're gonna go for these missiles here. What's the range on these guys? Come on. Show me that. Don't cover it up. Range of two on those secondary batteries. Attack of three. This is an attack of six. So, let's go for them. Six are better, five are better, four are better. Three are better. Two are better. Okay, I'm gonna take out one missile, maybe. Does that got you? That took out one missile, and we have nobody else left to fire, so we'll end the phase. Oh, well, he's just gonna roll in there. I kind of thought he'd stand back and wait for us to come to him. Oh, man, he's going to go for the infantry. How oh, nice. But he wasted a missile on infantry. If you want to do that, that's okay with me. Um, okay, I didn't really expect him to move into engagement range over here. But, um... Now I have to think, do I pull back out of his range? So let's let's lock this again. Come on. Range of two. Range five. We're not going to get out of range of that. But we could well get out of range of that. And why wouldn't we? So let's move back one out of range of his... His secondary batteries. Excuse me. And we will get a defensive bonus in the city, right? Defensive strength doubled, yeah. Okay, let's get into there. We'll still be in range of his secondaries, but why not? Get that defensive bonus. Okay, uh, Marines, as squishy as they are, still do get a bonus in... Um, in woods, and what the hell, as long as we leave some guys to be able to get our AI download, let's just bring these, let's just bring these guys up to engage. Okay. They are going to be in range of his armor, uh, not armor piercing, anti-personnel. Mobile howitzer has been disabled. Damn it. That is the one thing I would have rather had him not disable. Let's move these marine battle suits back a little bit, out of range of his secondaries. So you're our you're our safety net, hopefully. And if he wants to waste a missile on you, what can we do? Okay, these super heavies. Um I'm going to pull him back out of range of his main battery. Oh, I'm sorry, his secondary battery. 
right? You guys have a range of three, okay. So you're still in range. Now these missile tanks have a range of four, so why not? One, one, two, three. No, here, I think, is actually in range. So you guys do that. And then is there anybody with movement left? It looks like there is, but that's okay. Let's go for this. <clears throat> We're gonna go for his uh, missiles, because those are gonna be deadly. So. Three are better, two are better, or four are better. I mean, or, or automatic destruction. Let's just go for two are better and hope. Yeah, okay. Well, that's got one of his missiles away. Um, secondaries aren't really an issue at the moment, so let's go for this other missile. Four better. Three better automatic. I don't trust three better. Oh, I got a six, so it would have worked anyway. So there goes his other missile start working on secondaries. Four better, three or better. Let's see if you infantry can help. Two or better. Um, well, I don't think that one infantry is going to help us much, so let's just put everybody in. Take care of it. That's got him down to one secondary. And then all we're gonna have to worry about is AP, and that will be a problem. So let's end phase. Okay, he's gonna swing at these guys, of course. And he's probably gonna kill them. Double defense bonus or not. Yeah, I well, we got a couple. Um Boy, out of an abundance of caution, I'm going to move these guys back out of range of his anti-personnel. Actually, I'm going to leave one as a sacrificial lamb. Maybe he won't move. I don't know what the AI is going to do, but maybe he'll go, oh, there's a juicy target. I'll stay here. And if that's the case, I want him to do that. Okay, I'm going to go for the secondary battery here. Uh, two are better. Yeah, let's take the shot. We'll get another roll if it didn't work out. Alright, that's that. I guess we'll start working on his anti-personnel. Okay, one shot will take care of those. That's nice. Go for it again. That's beautiful that the super heavies can take it out in one shot. I didn't really realize that. Okay, you get a three or better. What if the infantry helps? There we go. That's an automatic. Take care of that. Only five remaining. Okay, I'm liking this. Super heavy, automatic destroy. Take it. Another auto from uh, super heavy. I'll take that too. I'm hoping these missile tanks have a similar ability. Three or better. Mm, let's take our chances here and go for more shots. Okay, that took one. Try it again. Okay, I took the other one. And one more to go. Now the only thing he can do is crush us, which is a valid fear that he might crush us. Okay, that missed. And can we still fire? Can the pallets fire? Oh, we can. Automatic destruction. So he is out of weapons. You are done, my friend. That's beautiful. Except for that. Okay. Um, he's going to be going after my infantry. I'm going to have to pull him back big time. Alright. Sorry, guys. You're pretty well 
dead. If that even results in one track destroyed, I'll be... Wow, two, two treads. And... Was it just the two treads? Did we have more? No, they lost uh, for a total of four treads. Nice job. And we get two attacks? I don't know why we get two attacks, but um, I'll take it. Okay, we destroyed some more treads, I think. Not that time, I think. Yeah. Okay, is this a bug? I'm just gonna get to sit here and shoot at this guy all day? I'm feeling like we may have bugged out. Because why should we get so many fire phases? Okay. I'm um, not grokking that. I'm not grokking that at all. It's our move phase, right? Really? <laughs> okay. I think something didn't work. I, I think he could have rolled over us there, but he didn't. I don't know why. Well, mm, ours is not to question why. Ours is just to do and not die, preferably. I'm going to pull those guys back to the city. These guys are kind of... Uh, maybe, uh, unless they get another uh, series of unending attacks on an ogre. That would be pretty sweet. And then, uh, let's see. Hey, you don't have any weapons, so yeah, we'll just sit here. And uh, we're just going to work on treads for this guy. Because obviously he's still dangerous to our guys. And we'll just throw everybody in on the treads and see what we can manage to accomplish here. Okay, we could get up to 54 damage to treads. I don't think it's gonna happen, but let's see. Damn, that's some good rolling though. Okay, I uh, notice they've sped this up. Not getting a lot there though. Looks like about nine so far. Oh, ooh, ow, dang, 18. Is that everybody? All right, how did we do over here? It's down to 29 treads, and his movement... Oh no, he's only he's got one more before his movement drops again, but we have taken off one whole set of treads, and another set is about to come off. Okay. Well, let's see what he does. So we're going to do this overrun thing again. All right. Um, all right, boys. I thought you were goners last time. But maybe not. If he doesn't ghost these guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna take it, but I gotta think this is a bug. I'm I'm pretty sure infantry aren't gonna get multiple attacks against an ogre. I, I realize he doesn't have weapons, but he has treads and he can over he can just drive over them. And squeak them. But I guess we're just going to get multiple fire phases here, and I'll, I'll take it. I don't know what in the deuce is going on. I don't think this is right. Come on, give me that tread. Yeah, no, no luck with it, though. And we could just pull back, huh? Is it because they're in the forest? Well, I don't know. I'm going to move them up here. If he wants to chase infantry all day, that's fine. These guys are... What kind of tanks? Super heavies, and they have a range of three, so they're going to have to move. So let's just pop these guys down to here. I'm, I'm befuddled by the overrun thing there. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know what's going on with that. I want to say that's a... That's a bug, but I, I don't know for sure. Okay. You gotta end your turn there. You are a missile tank. You've got a range of four. That puts you in range. You guys are super heavies. 
Yeah, your super heavies, you've got a range of three, one, two, I think that's not in range. So let's just... Oh, what the hell? Why am I messing with it? He doesn't have any weapons, so... What I should do is just blockade him down here with vehicles, and then, uh... This guy, though... No. This guy, though, there's no reason not to pull him back a little bit. Yeah. Except it, 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 it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. You're in range, so... We're not gonna move you. Uh, these infantry... Hmm. Well, I guess if he go okay, if he goes for these guys, then these guys will be free to approach this over. So let's just leave it, and we're just gonna go for treads, I guess. And I'm gonna try to do an in run around with these infantry over here next turn. Try to get him close to that ogre, but I suspect he'll respond by trying to engage, which is fine. Okay. Here we go, for treads. Let's try them. None so far. There goes three. So his movement range has decreased. There goes some more. So we're not keeping up with the dice rolls over here. Okay, there's a the mobile howitzer. Yeah, that didn't really do all that much to this guy. He's down to 20. And that's the end of our fire phase. Okay, what are you doing now? Okay, he's going back to the infantry. Alright, he's just gonna bedevil these poor fellows, but I don't see what the point is. It would be nice if they could score some hits, though, like they did that first time. There it goes, so. Two treads. And it is, once again, our fire phase. Whatever. Get to it, boys. I'm gonna take out an ogre with my infantry here. Okay. Well, I think they've lost a total of about four. It's the Pan Euro's third fire phase on the ogre. Okay. I'll take it. Give me a six over there. No. Okay. We didn't get. I think we got what two? No four. Okay. I'll take that. It's our movement phase again. I see no reason to move. I could move some more infantry up and confuse the hell out of the AI, maybe. I will actually move this infantry out of his range there. I don't know why it would matter, but I'm gonna move him back anyway. I should have just moved him over here. Yeah, I should have. I didn't, though. Okay. No, I don't want the road. I want to target the Mark four. And um, everybody's doing treads again. Hopefully everybody's in range. I think so. Okay. Yeah, sure. Go for it. But let's get some good rolls here. Whoa. Let's get some good rolls here, though. Okay, this has stopped opening. This is definitely a bug that the combat lock goes, goes dumb on us. Wait a minute. Okay, so it's a victory condition to destroy or disable the enemy ogre. I thought that no matter what we did with the enemy ogre that we would have to download the AI core, but we got the victory just from destroying the ogre, and I'm happy with that. I gotta think there's some funny business on that. I'll check maybe on the forums and see what's up with getting, you know, three fire phases from infantry. I, I think the ogre should have done an overrun, but I, maybe I'm missing something. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time around. Thanks very much for watching and commenting on these videos. I very much appreciate it. See you soon. Bye.